get it. I mean, we have Ranger, and then 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 I might consider playing Ranger if we have more one drops that are willing, that are wor worthy of being tutored. I like the fact though that like Wrath of God kind of hurts us. Walk her into Geddon. Walk her into Geddon is tempting. I'm gonna go for mortars though. Geddon plus tax says Rufus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it might wheel. Fiend Hunter. I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Like, all this double white stuff early on, maybe this is, like, all wrong. Because that is a lot of white white. When we've got some red red stuff going on. Like, maybe this was all wrong. All the white white stuff is greedy. Abbott, Chandra. Hope it wheels. You like, you like Abbott, Toad? Um, okay. This is definitely a Geddon deck. Uh, Chandra's not bad. Nah, I'll take... Yeah, this is tough. I'm gonna take Abbott. That's a tough one. Sacred Foundry. Is there anything in here besides lands that strikes us as awesome? Besides, like, maybe Porcelain Legionnaire? Anybody? You like the Chandra better? I kind of like just taking Sacred Foundry. That's that's our colors to a T. It's, it's plateau number two. Like I'd like to have really really nice mana. Or you could take uh, Badlands. You could take Badlands. And they have like really nice mana. I'm gonna take Badlands actually. Take the Spark Mage. Maybe. Maybe that was correct. Mmm. War Leaders here. Oh, hey, Ravages of War. Destroy all lands. We can have it anyway. Sure. Caves of Koilos. Outpost Siege. This is the Chandra effect. This is effectively what Chandra does. You just name, um... You name Khans. Another Geddon. Do we want outpost siege or do we want like caves? Please wield again. I'm gonna take caves. So I have really nice mana. Double Geddon. I'll take a chain lightning. Seems reasonable. Could be angelic destiny. It could be. I'm gonna take a chain lightning. I want more early stuff. Um, I'm gonna take chainer's edict. It's temp. I mean, I don't think I'm really a tangle wire strategy, am I? I don't have any bounce for it. That was the last deck we built. I think it's Chainer's Edict. Um, Riders Wield. We were considering that card. Ooh, my music stopped. Better. Yeah, I think Edict is fine. You can always potentially flash it back. School. Hey, Mother of Runes. Ooh, we have to choose between Mom and Armageddon. I feel like we're building the Geddon land, the the Geddon deck, though, aren't we? Like get ahead of your opponent and then Geddon. And Geddon plus tax is stupid, right? She cut aggressive cards. Says return. Like Goblin Guide. Be more controlling. This deck should be controlling. Okay. Delver of Secrets. Nice. Thalia plus tax. Take Thalia. Oops. I probably should have taken the Thalia. It's too late now. So you're saying cut like the Goblin Guides and the maybe even Abbott? Definitely the Fire Fist. It's not a very amazing card. Okay, 31 minus 5, so we're looking at 26. Or excuse me, um, that didn't make any sense to you guys. It made sense to me. So 9 plus 5. Plus, I guess we can count Mox Diamond maybe. 
Like if I add lands at this point, uh, we're looking at what? I'm not really blown away by stagger shock, by the way. I'm cutting it. So we're some sort of like red green destruction. Wouldn't Gargadon be good if I'm like before the wrath goes off, I just sacrifice all my stuff? Wouldn't that be value? And then I have a nine seven. Just saying. Mox diamond counts against the land, says Rufus. Should play 17 land plus Mox. Okay. Garg is good if I still. It's also good if I blow up all the lands. Garg gives me some reason to keep getting lands off tax. Just keep sacrificing them. Actually, Gargadon plus land tax is a combo. Gargadon plus plus tax is a combo because I can keep staying behind my opponent by one land to keep continue triggering the land tax if I want to. Right? Also, it's basic lands. Should I really run this many non-basics? For just three black cards? That might not be worth it. It might not be worth it. Like... I uh, I saw a buddy of mine playing land tax deck, and he was just straight up just blue white and just nothing but planes and nothing but islands. Sarkon and Sworn aren't great. Okay. Reasonable. Like maybe I'm not supposed to run so many non basics because we're land tax deck. Take out caves. Okay. Uh, 12 plus 4. So we're at 16. We need two more cuts. Do we count Spear as a mana source? It's ramp. This deck does look interesting. Keep the walkers. Do we want Young Peasy? Do we want this? I don't know if it fits with the deck anymore. Cut Edict. It's only double black for Flash back, but I hear what you're saying. Right, we need to do something like Hammer of Porphyros or a uh, Planeswalker before we get in, right? Do we want the Abbot as well? I mean, I wonder if I want to cut that as well. Okay, that right there would be 18 land. This would be 18 lands. You think Pyro helps a lot? You lose the Avalanche Riders? Okay. Well, how many of these are going to trigger the own Pyromancer? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, seven. This should be straight red, red, white. Okay. Abbot seems good. I, I'm fine with maybe both Abbot and Pyromancer. I think they both do cool things. So go straight red white because um, it can't be right. That's what it's saying, though. Why did it give me an island? Oh, because it was looking at the Phyrexian. Ugh. Stagger Shock and Sarko. That's 19 land, that's too many. But, um, just thinking about it. No, there's no need for an island. Pyromancer justifies the Stagger Shock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, mountain cut. No, it's gonna be eighteen or seventeen land, I'm not sure. Cut two lands, put in Sarkon and Shock. Do we even really like Sarkon? We had a lot of other things we could be running. Do we like this guy? 
Also, Gargadon is going to be suspended. Um, do we even like this guy? Run 18 lands, says Beard. Sarkon's great with land destruction. Okay. I think the Avalanche Riders is better than the Sarkon. So I play him and then I hit somebody with a 4 4 Red Dragon. Okay. And then. Or I can minus. I can hit, deal 4 damage to a creature. That actually really isn't that great. Uh, Avalanche does stay on the plan, which is blow up all their land. <laughs> yeah. Could we get away with 17? I don't know if we could, because we're running Mox Diamond. But we have Land Tax and Sphere. Does that kind of balance, does that balance it out? What do you guys think? That's tough. Um... 17 lands is more than enough for cube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's go 8, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Red, white, get him getting. If you're going 17 lands, you probably not want to cut Inferno. I wasn't planning on cutting Inferno. Because uh, of Diamond. Get him, get him! That's nice. I, I, I like that. Did you think of that yourself? That's nice. Get him, get him. Sure. I figured out how to do that. Cool. Achievement unlocked. That wasn't that hard. I've seen a bunch of other people do that on stream before, so... Yeah! Pretty land hype. Make sure to hit the submit. I will. Just, I want to ponder this for a moment. Hmm, is this really what we want to do with our lives? Let me blow it up so you guys can see. Whoa, too big, too big. Can't see all the lands now. There you go. So is this really what we want to do with our lives this evening? Um, yes, this looks wonderful. Maybe I'm not running enough red, because white, really, well, we have white, white for wrath. All right, submit. Submission received. 
You guys can't see that's bottom right corner, but I did indeed.